My name's Adam and I'm part of the marketing team at StreamGo and today we're going to be answering all your questions on virtual events. So let's get started. For a virtual event game, I'd go with something that's nice and simple, nice and fun, easy for your attendees to get involved with. It wants to be a little bit competitive so that people can play off and chat, a bit, chat about top scores, but nothing too complex. Something like Snake's pretty good, Pac-Man, any of those arcade classics, that's what you want to be aiming for. Ah yes, food is one of my favourite things about physical events too and virtual events don't have to miss out either. I think for attendees you could do one of two things, you could maybe send things through the post, get some kind of letterbox um, snacks and treats, you could go healthy or you could go uh, a bit more unhealthy with chocolate, something like that, a bit of a, a treat for people. You could also maybe look at Uber Eats, Just Eat, Deliveroo, some high street um, coffee chain vouchers or gift cards. Maybe you could ration those out to your VIP attendees, maybe there's some target accounts attending and you could just make their experience even better. So I think, yeah, Nibble's a great idea, virtual attendees do not have to miss out. Networking is one of the main reasons why people attend events. Physical events, you get to meet people, peers, colleagues, also suppliers, vendors. I think virtual events, there is some way to go to, to meet with those standards, but there's things like chat rooms, that's great for attendee to attendee chat, sharing information about the sessions they've just watched, catching up with people if you can see their username, there's also a great extra almost next step to that would be to allow attendees to create one-to-one -one chat rooms with other attendees or maybe with suppliers and vendors that they're, they're there to see. And that an ex extra step on top of that would be to make that video conferencing, video calls. I think that'd be really effective video meetings between two people wanting to, to kind of network a bit more. Um, for the sponsor side of things as well, you know, we're sponsors are involved with events that are often trying to speak to people who will be buying their services. So making sure that there's some networking capabilities for sponsors is really important for virtual events too. And I think video chat, one-to-one -one demonstrations is really, really vital. Um, so yeah, I think chat rooms, one-to-one -one chat, and if you can, try and find someone who gets that video aspect in there as well. I think that will really step up and really kind of just do the next step in the, in the networking for your virtual events. Right, quite a big question this one. What are some of the best ways to get the most out of your virtual event? So I think there's probably three areas to focus on. One is setting the right goal. Two is making sure that the content is right. And number three, it's about the data and the analytics you get behind that. And I'll run through a couple of examples. So let's say the goal is to generate leads for your business. So the content needs to make sure you drive registrations, it needs to be enticing, maybe get some really headline keynote speakers involved. But then once the people are in the event and signed up, you also want the content to be engaging and interactive. This is where the data and the analytics comes into it. So if you've got engaging content, you'll be able to see on the analytics side, you know, what questions did your attendees ask? Did they answer polls? And if so, what answers did they give to those polls or surveys? Did they find one session more engaging than the other? Did they drop off after a, a matter of minutes on one but stayed right to the bitter end of another one? This kind of insight and data help, will really help you generate business and custom from those, from those attendees, making sure you're getting biz, hot leads for your business. So that's one example. If another event, the goal is to drive sponsorship revenue, then the content needs to be focusing on the sponsors. So could you give them a sponsored slot in your event? How about the branding across the event? Is the content there right for the logos to be in the corner? Could they have a advert at the front or the end of some of the sessions on video? Those type of things would really make a difference to a sponsor. Having their own sponsor booth as well with live chat, with the ability to host content, the ability to host a one-to-one -one meeting 
with people from the page, those type of things would be really involved and engaged for a, for a sponsor um, to get value from your event. The data on the flip side of that, so you'd be able to talk to your sp sponsors about who visited their page. You could also provide event data to them and say, okay, well, we had three sessions. Session A was the most well attended by HR managers. Session B was the most well attended by internal comms. You could break it down by the data that you've collected and let your sponsors know which content was the most engaging so they can develop their own content plans and their own follow-up. Equally, you could also talk to your sponsors about the data you get about signups. You'd be able to tell where your signups came from. So let's say 50% of your signups came from LinkedIn advertising. That information to your sponsor, sponsors would be really valuable because they'd know that there is a active market on LinkedIn for their type of content, their target market, and they then might go away and do their own LinkedIn advertising. So there's some really good value that you can provide sponsors from the data within your event. There's just two examples of, of what I think um, you need to get from your virtual events. But yeah, like I say, the three things, make sure your goal is well defined, make sure your content fits that goal, and then make sure that whatever platform you're using can give you that insight, the data, the metrics, analytics, whatever you want to call it, give you or your sponsors or, or whatever the goal is, give you the right follow-up to make sure you can achieve that goal.